Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And in this video, we are going to be making this card. This one in particular is an anniversary card, but I'm gonna switch the sentiment for a birthday card. Uh, so I can keep it to have on hand to send to someone. And I am using this beautiful Berry Burst color, which is one of the end colors for 2017, 2019. And I'm also using a sheet of the Color Theory Designer Series Paper Stack that has Berry Burst as one of the colors and Crushed Curry and Old Olive. And so I've chosen a background uh, layer for that. And also the Color Theory Memories and More card pack, which is beautiful, not only for memory keeping, but for card making. And you get all of these cards that have the colors in them that are in the Color Theory stack. And so you can combine those and use them for your card making and memory keeping. So you have all these three by four cards and I haven't even opened up my four by six cards and I can't wait to do that. So anyway, I've got a card there and then I've also used these coordinating glitter enamel dots that have the colors, okay, that can be used along with this suite as well. Okay, and I think I left out Dapper Denim because I have used so much of that particular color from this stack. So these are the colors that are featured in the Color Theory Suite, and so let's get started. I have a base that is cut at four and one quarter by 11. So if you have your piece of cardstock, you know, with the long ways, you're gonna cut it in half at four and a quarter, then score it at five and a half so that you can have a standard size card. Let me see if I can find my bone folder. And we're gonna make a good crease here. Okay, so there's our base. Then here is that piece of the Color Theory paper. I have cut that to layer on top at five and a quarter long ways by four. And so that makes it a quarter inch smaller all the way around. So let's just take some snail adhesive and attach that to the card base. I want to make sure I don't start working with my card upside down. Okay, I think I want to put the light on the top like I did on the other one. It's kind of an ombre effect. Okay, that is just gorgeous. Okay, so now I have the card that I used on the sample. There are two of them, two of the same cards in the pack. And so the back side has a different, uh, sometimes it has a, verse on it, sometimes not for memory keeping or for card making. And I'm going to layer this up and see how I'm going to position it on the front of the card. So I have a half of the lace doilies and I'm looking for my birthday sentiment. So I have that ready because that's definitely what I want to do with this card. Now, for the image here, this looks like one of our fresh floral images. Well, it's actually from a huge designer series paper stack called, called Flesh Florals, and I featured it on my blog already because I just love it. It's in all the new in colors, and it has different floral prints and all the new in colors that you can use on your projects. And so I have a piece of this floral. And what I did is I took my two inch circle punch and punched out this piece here so that I could use that as my main image. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Right there, it fits inside that circle perfectly. Then I want this doily peeking out from the edge here. So let me go ahead and get some adhesive right here on the back side of the Memories and More card. 
and just center that like that. And then I can go ahead and place that on my card front. And I'm trying to get it about the same distance from the top and the bottom and make sure that my, oops, my doily doesn't hang over the edge. So let's go ahead and get that in place. Okay, there we go. Now I also have this Berry Burst little felt bow. This is from the Biddy Bows uh, embellishments and it, it comes in all of the new in colors as well. And I love that Stampin' Up! put the little glue dot already on the back. Brilliant. And this time I'm going to switch and I'm going to put it on this side just for fun. Just to change it up a bit. So I'm going to let that stick there. And then I have three of these enamel glitter dots, or glitter enamel dots. And I'm going to use three of the gradients of color. I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna switch sides like I did. I'm, the bow is on this side, switching the dots to the other side. And so let me go there and then get one larger, the next larger size, and then a darker one and a larger size, just like that. Okay, kind of balances out those embellishments there on the card. Now let's get to our sentiment. I always seem to have scraps of Whisper White and Very Vanilla cardstock that I've trimmed off of those larger pieces and I, I keep those because I use those for sentiments all the time. So this is a half inch wide and it's just a strip I had. So I'm giving myself plenty of room to stamp. So I'm going to take the birthday sentiment from the let me get it number of year set. Okay. It has for birthday and anniversary. And I'm going to take my Berry Burst ink and go ahead and ink that up and stamp that about in the center because I'm going to snip those ends. Then I'm going to replace with a happy. Ink that up and just stamp over here in front. And then I'll take my paper snips <clears throat> and I'm gonna banner these little ends here to make it pretty for the front of the card. Now, I, to finish off the inside of this card, I would probably put a piece of Whisper White cardstock cut at five and a quarter by four, and then maybe stamp one of these fresh floral images on it or put a strip of designer paper. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there just like that. Um, just to finish off the inside of the card. But I'll wait and save that for when I know who I'm gonna send this to. Okay, there's an anniversary or birthday card idea with this new Berry Burst color and love the color theory uh, elements that we have in our catalog. If you have any questions, let me know. Please visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.